Semi-finals time in Laval. 20 athletes for men and women have made it this far and we're whittling those 20 down to just eight. There's 100 points available for Boulder, 100 for lead and those scores are combined for a final result. That's the theory. Let's check out the action with some of the highlights. It was a low scoring round for the women and there were a few surprises along the way. Slovenia's Mia Krampel didn't have the best round, her score of 9.6 leaving her work to do in the lead wall. Italy's Laura Rogera is in 10th but had a brilliant flash of the second climb. Also in touch is Germany's Hannah Moyle just ahead of Laura with 44.6. Let's look at the top eight before the lead round. Switzerland's Petra Klingler had a great start to her semi-finals. She had a quick top of the first climb and points in the rest to finish with a strong 48.9. That score was the same as Ukraine's Genia Kaspikova, who also climbed the all-important first climb. With emotions high, she let out a scream as she matched the last hold. Lucia Dorfel is, at this stage, the highest ranking German climber. She was in the 50s. A flash of Boulder 1 getting her the maximum 25 points available and she scored on the rest of the climbs. Italy's Camilla Moroni couldn't climb the first Boulder, but she had a comeback on the second. One of only two athletes to send the powerful, slopey moves. She finished with 58.6. Stasha Geo was the first into the 60s and she got the first climb done quickly, but had to get more technical later on. She figured out the final palm down jump on Boulder 3. Zelia Avazu is just ahead of Stasha on 63.8. The French crowd cheered their hometown hero on as she finished the last boulder. Early job done. A last fingertip stretch and clever footwork secured her the top on the last climb and a good position for the lead. From Belgium, Chloe Collier had a great start to her semi-finals. She finished in second place, with two tops along the way and a score of 68.7. She's certainly one to watch now and has less work to do later on. Finally, France's Oriane Berton is way out in front. She finished with 84.2 and three tops to her name. The 18-year-old athlete, one of the favourites for gold, and clearly showing us why. On to the men. And Paul Genf was one of the favourites, but he had a tricky boulder round. He would have wanted more than the 40 points he managed. Still, some good tops along the way. The Olympic champion, Alberto Hines Lopez, will also have to get a good lead score if he's to progress. He's currently sitting on 59.4 and in 11. Team Belgium have another athlete through. Hannes van Dyssen getting two tops on his way to a score of 64. He climbed Boulder 1 in two goes, but the run and press on Boulder 3 took him longer. From France, Mejdi Schalk was looking a little shaky early on, but the final climb saved him. He did it in five goes and finished with a respectable 64, meaning that last top was very important. Andrzej Perhak from Slovenia is the highest placing athlete through from his team with 64.4. He seemed to be feeling the vibes, speeding his way through the first climb. Adam Andra from the Czech Republic has made no secret of how much he wants to win in Laval. On Boulder 3, it started to come together after a slow start, and he's now in sixth with 
Austria's Nikolai Uznik is only 0.2 ahead of Adam. Two flashes of boulders one and three and quick zones on the rest, getting him high up the leaderboard. The current Boulder World Champion, France's Mikel Mauem, was in form. He worked out the final, slightly scary last move on B3 and flashed the last climb, working out the complicated, twisting moves across the volumes. An impressive 79.7 for him. His teammate Sam Avazu just pipped Mikel to second place. He managed to flash all three boulders he climbed and was looking at his fluid best as he cruised up them. The last slab, like Mikel, was flashed and he finishes with a score of 80. The last climber, and one who seems to be on a different level, was Great Britain's Toby Roberts. He flashed boulder one, got a high zone on the very difficult boulder two, and climbed the rest well. A score of 84.7, setting us up for an exciting lead round. So that's the bouldering round done. Now, Shauna, before we turn our attention to the lead, I want to ask you about where the athletes stand, because let's say they've had a bad round. Can they pull it back on this lead wall? Is it even mathematically possible? Of course, it depends what everybody else does. So mathematically and theoretically, yes. But of course, all you can do is control your own performance. So, you know, athletes who haven't had the best board around, they need to come out and give absolutely everything because they are really fighting every hold for the points on this route. It's going to be an exciting show. It really is. And for those out in front, psychologically, they're back there in ISO now. Are they going to be sitting there thinking, ah, I've done my job, or are they still <laughs> keeping everything together? Uh, because, you know, they, they still have more to do. They still have a lot more to do. I think there are some athletes who we've seen get really great scores, but you can't qualify for the next round off one result alone. Or maybe you can, we might find that out later. But um, yeah, they still they still have a lot more to do. And also they're gonna wanna be going into the finals, standing in st good stead, showing what they've got. I think, yeah, there's a lot still to play for. Okay, well, remember we are only halfway through this semi-final. Time to check out how the athletes did on the lead wall behind us. With all to play for, it was Laura Rogera who secured the first finals place. Her total score of 99.4 pushed Chloe Collier into ninth, but Laura safely threw. Team Germany had two athletes, with Lucia Dorfel the first in seventh. It was a fairly low fall for her, but added to that boulder round means she progresses. Meanwhile, her teammate Hannah Moyle fell on the women's crux. It was close after a low boulder score, but Hannah will climb again in sixth. Seeming to be in her zone, Jenya Kazbakova kept calm despite the tension around her. She rested well throughout the route and made it to the same crux and is in fifth with a total of 106. Sitting on the top spot for a long time was Camilla Moroni as the other athletes all took their turn on the wall. It was more than enough for Camilla, although she slipped down to fourth from that top spot. Setting her home crowd on fire was Zelia Avazu, as she secured third place with an overall score of 117.9. She built on that previous good bold around and is a real contender for the win. However, Stasha Geo did one better. She combined her obvious boulder power with some good endurance gains and she's through in second place. The ever exciting Stasha Geo will have a chance for an Olympic ticket. Oriane Berton was simply on another level for the women after that brilliant boulder performance. 
She was one of the highest on the route, but only needed a couple of points in reality to get into the finals. She didn't know, climbed hard, and she will climb last tomorrow. On to the men, and Nikolai Uznik pushed Sasha Lehmann out of the finals. He was only one point ahead of Sasha in the totals, but more than enough. Mejdi Schalk gave us a few scares throughout the entire semi-finals, but he's through with 103.1. In sixth is the German powerhouse Yannick Floe, who found his rhythm on the lead wall. He now needs to rest, go away and recover to perform again in less than 24 hours. Fifth went to Philipp Schenk with 112.7. He battled his way through the overhanging green holds, finally falling on the purples for a good high finish. Joining his sister in the finals is Sam Avazou. He's in fourth and again, that French crowd almost screened themselves hoarse in support. Top three for the men and the Olympic champion Alberto Hines Lopez is third with a total of 113.4. He looked good on the wall, flicking between moves in his powerful style. Adam Ondra built on his boulder round and he did need to climb high. He was looking controlled throughout his run and when he fell, it caught everyone by surprise. It's enough though and second for Adam. Finally, Toby Roberts was simply unstoppable. After that brilliant boulder round, he wanted more on the lead wall and he got to the last few moves. He was so close to finishing the climb, but the number one spot will more than make up for that. So eight men and eight women will climb again tomorrow. Make sure you catch all the action to discover who takes that Olympic ticket.